Uh, main theme of Hubble is the architecture of the universe, that is the, the structure within which matter is distributed. And it's ordinary matter, it's dark matter, and the gravitational tug of that dark matter provides the skeletal framework in which ordinary matter con condenses and converges into individual galaxies. So that's the context within which galaxies are formed and evolved, including our Milky Way galaxy. So we'll be exploring the life story of galaxies from the from the cradle, not to the grave, because they're still, you know, they're still with us, but all the way through the life history of, of the family tree of galaxies. Within galaxies, of course, new stars are being born all the time. And, and even when galaxies collide, that induces the, the formation of new stars. So stars are always being formed. They ultimately burn up their nuclear fuel. And when they run out of fuel, they get unstable and they either explode if they're very massive or cast off material if they're not so massive. But in the meantime, during their evolutionary cycle, when they still have nuclear fuel, they provide the, the arena in which planets can form. And so Hubble has been very effective in observing the rings and disks around stars within which new planets are forming and, and have been formed. And we've even done something no one expected to do, and that is to actually chemically probe the, the composition of the atmospheres of planets in orbit around other stars. And we expect to continue that work. Underneath Underlying all of this are some deep mysteries that are really puzzling to us, and we think we can make excellent new progress in these areas. The study of dark matter and what it is and how it's distributed in the universe, and dark energy, the mysterious repulsive gravity, which is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. And Hubble will continue to work to try to narrow down the range of uncertainty.